Hey guys, today I am finally getting around to doing a much requested video and that is how we got Scarlett to understand that she's going from being our one and only precious child angel bop doodle poodle face poodle face? to one of two and what we did along the way to help her understand that mommy's belly growing bigger means an entirely new person is coming to live at our house forever Can you give brother a kiss? <laughs> it's kind of going to be a show and tell thing, but for added excitement, I have Connie on Skype. Hey! Connie is from the What's Up Moms channel. If you haven't checked out the What's Up Moms channel, the best way to describe it is when you're feeling like alone in parenting or you just need that we can do this Rosie the Riveter of parenting feel, go watch the What's Up Moms channel. They've got lots of great tips and tricks and they make you feel like, okay parenting, I've got this. I love that channel. Connie does lots of hauls and things on it, and she and I have the exact same situation, but switched. She has a little two-year-old boy. Yummy. I have a little two-year-old girl. She's pregnant with a little girl. I'm pregnant with a little boy. Our pregnancies are almost down to the exact same date, and our older children are almost the exact same age. So today, in our little show and tell, we're going to be covering all bases. Okay, let's get started. One of the first things I wanted to show you is some of the books that we purchased to prepare Scarlett all along the way. As my belly's been growing, we've been talking a lot about it, she puts her head on my tummy, but I thought that it would be good to have some visuals too. So one of the ones that I had is called God Gave Us You, cute little polar bears on the front, and it's about a mom and how her baby arrived to her. So you can watch the polar bear mom's tummy get bigger and bigger, and they talk about how they're celebrating and things like that. It was really good to help her get a grasp on it. And then, for after the baby comes, we have I'm a Big Sister. And this one is, it's just kind of general. It shows all the things that, you know, babies do. It talks about how you can help mommy, and what you do when the baby's crying, and how you get used to the baby crying, because as a big sibling, they have to adjust to that kind of stuff. My favorite book that we got um, to prepare her, though, is called Hello In There. And I don't know if they have a boy version of this one, but it's so cute. It's about basically big sister talking to the tummy. So you can see there's a little tiny baby bean inside as you go along. She's uh, the little girl is talking to her mom's tummy. So can you see that? There's a little tummy there. And as you get further along in the book, the tummy gets much bigger. And on some pages, there are little flips that you can open up. Oh, and see baby inside the tummy. And it talks about, I wonder what you look like, and I can't wait to do this with you, and maybe you'll have the same kind of hair I have. So those are the three books that we got to kind of prepare her along and get her used to the idea that mom's not just getting fat, there's actually something going on in there. <laughs> mom's not getting fat. <laughs> I love that, that's so cute. Um, I also got uh, some books for Nathan. I made this book but one of my favorite companies. It's called Twig Tales, and it allows you to make customizable books. And this one says uh, Big Brother Nathan, and it actually goes through the story of him being a baby and being born and, and what that was like. And so he gets to see a baby, but then it goes through and talks about what he can do now, that he can run, he can play, he can swim with Presley. And so I really love this book. We've been going through this one with him. And another thing that we've been doing to transition Nathan um, right now, we got a little Asian baby doll. <laughs> And I actually got this like four months ago maybe and just hoping that he would have some interest. It sat around on the floor or on a bed for months and months and I was just about to give up on her. Uh, but then recently we've just been getting some, some shipments in the mail and Nathan saw like a baby bib and he was really curious what that was and I was like oh it's for the baby and he wanted to put it on the baby so that was just like yesterday and I was really excited maybe there's some hope for this little girl after all. Um, so that, those are kind of, kind of some of the things that we've been doing to, to help Nathan prepare in anticipation for the new baby. That's actually funny about um, him not paying much attention to his doll because Scarlett, as girly as she is, she loves everything girly, she really hasn't shown much interest in her dollies yet. This one's always naked and we've t tried to dress it up a little bit like a boy and talked about the baby boy coming. So I'm thinking that maybe she's gonna get more interested in dolls when there's actually a real life baby in mommy's arms. Maybe she'll wanna have one of her babies in her arms. So I went to go pick up some clothes for the baby and actually at Carter's they had a sale where this little preemie outfit, so cute, little girly stuff. It's my only girly thing I got to buy this time. Um, was only four dollars and that was cheaper than the doll clothes I found so we got a new outfit for her baby and I think the idea that I'm gonna try and do is 
at the hospital, Mommy gets to come home with a new baby. Scarlet gets to come home with new things for her baby. We got this little outfit, and then I also got this bunting. I got this off of Zoo Lily, and uh, she doesn't have a doll bed, so this is like a carry-along, carry-all doll bed that she can take with her. And those are gifts that, that the baby is going to be giving to her, or is it like gifts that you're giving to the baby? I think that we are, I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet. We're going to have to see how it plays out. I thought about getting her a gift specifically from the baby. Maybe one of these will have to be it because we didn't plan for that exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you need one, I've got a lot of toys. <laughs> you got the, now you're a, an official big brother lawnmower as your <laughs> traditional. <laughs> you joke. <laughs> okay. I'll show you that picture from my closet. So <laughs> I guess I guess for us to prepare Nathan for the actual seeing his little sister for the first time in mommy's arms, we got some gifts that baby's sister was gonna present to him. Um, and I had way too many things that I ended up ordering through Amazon to even show you guys. I'll just give you guys a sampling. Like Nathan loves garbage trucks and so it has nothing to do with a baby but I know that he just is going to go bananas over a garbage truck and if it comes from his baby sister I'm hoping that that'll bode well and he'll have fond feelings for her. And um, things like a forklift. He loves like cars, tr construction trucks, so anything that I knew that he would love, that he would be thrilled to get, I got. I did think about something that might be interesting for Scarlett to see. When she first comes and meets her baby brother, there's going to be a lot of doctors and nurses around. They're going to be doing checkups on mommy, checkups on the baby, and actually now that I'm at weekly appointments with my OB, Scarlett gets really excited about hearing the baby's heartbeat and the doctor lets her do the measurement, to the fundal height measurement each time to see how big the baby is and she always goes oh the baby is this big <laughs> but I thought that it would be nice for her to have her own doctor kit because this is something that she's seeing a lot of and this is a way that if she's feeling a little apprehensive around the new baby boy maybe she can give him a checkup of course supervised by mommy but she's got everything that she needs in here to make sure that baby boy is healthy and gives her like her own little you know she gets to be the protector the big sister she gives him a checkup just like the doctor does to make sure that he's okay so this was from Circo, it's just um, a Target one. I think I got it for like 14 bucks, something like that. I think she's gonna absolutely love this though. I love that idea, I mean, especially if she's planning on visiting you in the hospital too. Yeah, she's definitely gonna come to the hospital to meet the baby and I think that's where she's gonna get her like big, big sister gifts. The doctor kit and her baby will come home from the hospital too in the bunting. That's the plan, at least. Awesome, that's so cute, I love that. Because I wanted Nathan to be involved in this whole gift giving process, it's not just him receiving and receiving, I wanted him to feel like he was a part of it. So we actually went to Target the other day and he actually picked this little sleep sheep, which I thought was a perfect gift for his soon-to-be baby sister. We did the same thing, we went and picked out a gift that she can give to her new baby brother, and this is something that I've heard from some of my friends, like they have gifts that they still cherish that their older sibling gave to them when they were just born so we wanted to pick something special and this is Scarlett's if you guys watch my channel you have seen this a lot this is Penny Baby and um, there's actually two Penny Babies don't tell Scarlett <laughs> but we keep one in the car and one in the house and we try and never let the two meet but she loves this it goes with her everywhere she uses it as a security blanket she takes it when she naps so we thought that it would be fitting for her to pick out um, the same sort of lovey for for this little boy so um, she had, we went to Kohl's because they had the, they had like an entire rack of them and she picked out this little doggy. You're a doggy, right? Yes, he is. And it's perfect. It's got stars on the inside. It's got the silky that is the most important part and it says little dreamer. So this is what she picked for her baby brother and when she comes, probably with her grandma Nini to the hospital, she'll have wrapped this up and can give it to her new baby brother. I think that'll also help with understanding why they're going to the hospital. It's not just to see mommy, but you're going to take the gift to go see brand new baby brother. First time out of the tummy. That's cute. And she had no problems picking out a new lovey for her brother. I mean, she didn't go through the same thing that Nathan did where it's like, I want this. I want yeah, okay. So she had this one in her hand and while she was picking it out, she was like, mom, I don't need penny baby and threw it down and then was holding this one. And I thought, uh oh, but when we got home, she was like, we call baby inside the tummy, we're calling him Baby Huckle. That's not his name, it's just a nickname. And so she was like, this for Baby Huckle, we have to wrap it. And she already started to pretend to wrap it with napkins and things. So she got it. 
It was pretty cool. So the last set of things that I got for Nathan I thought was for a, um, a little bit beyond when he goes to school. I thought it would be really fun for him. I saw this. It says, I'm the big brother and it's a little photo album. He can pick what pictures he wants to put in and he gets to show it to his friends at school. So I thought that that might be something fun for him. And then um, a friend of mine actually just got me this book. It's called My New Baby and Me. It's like an activity book. He can fill it out. He can attach a picture of his family. He can answer questions like, we live in a house, a cave, a farm, a boat. So I think that this is going to be a fun activity for him. That's awesome. I want to go through and hear Scarlett say crazy things that she drives a Batmobile and lives in caves and things like that too. <laughs> that was really cool. One thing that I'm excited to have once we get home for Scarlett is this. Look at this Glamour Puss kit here. Elle actually sent this to me from What's Up Elle, and I think that Scarlett is going to flip when she sees this. She's really into right now being the baby. If you talk to her about like, oh, you're so big, you're such a big girl, she goes, no, I tiny, I tiny. She'll say, rock me like a baby. So I've been a little nervous about how this transition is gonna go. Everyone is gonna tell her she's a big girl. She's gonna see that the baby is much tinier than her. So I'm hoping having her own little dress up heels and her own jewels and gems, she'll be like, no, I'm the big girl. I get to wear this stuff. Babies don't get to wear this stuff. <laughs> so this was perfect. Thank you, Elle. She's gonna absolutely love it. Bye. Of course. And then one more idea that we actually got from Elle, and Connie and I are both gonna use it, is taking some books our kids are really familiar with, like Brown Bear, Brown Bear, or in my case, Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear, or Good Night Moon, some of those classics that kids can memorize, and having them read it specifically to their new sibling. So I just got this idea from Elle, but I'm gonna have Scarlett start reading it to my tummy. It's like the tail. And then when baby comes out, she can read it to baby. And that takes mom and dad out of the picture. Mom and dad, mom and dad. <laughs> out of the picture and it fosters the relationship with the siblings, which I thought was a great idea. Connie, what book do you guys have that you love at home that Nathan likes to read? This book, First 100 Words, is one of the first books that, that he could start really reading. And so I would say that there are very few books that he can read on his own. But this one, I think that if we at least point to some of the pictures, he can start getting the idea of reading it to the baby. So I'm really excited to use this one. And I love the idea of having him read it to the baby right now, even. I think that that's fantastic. Or maybe maybe I'll, break, I'll try breaking out this little Asian girl. <laughs> <laughs> See if that works. So this is one area that I'm actually prepared and ready to go. I feel like I've got Scarlet under control. Now I just need to pack my hospital bag, get a space for the baby to sleep, and everything else figured out. But thank you to Connie and Elle for helping me get this situated. I want to hear what you guys have, if you have prepared an older sibling for a younger sibling as well. And if you have not checked out the What's Up Moms channel, you're completely missing out. I don't think that you have parenthood figured out until you've checked out the What's Up Moms channel. Connie's on there with hauls all the time and it's just so fun. It makes you feel like you're a total part of a community. If you have a mom group online, that's what it is. Go check out What's Up Moms, I've got it linked below. Marie, thanks so much for doing this. I love all the ideas that came out of this. So I feel like I'm, I've gotten Nathan pretty prepared for this transition. I don't know if I'm prepared as much, but I think Nathan's got it under control. Thanks you guys, this was so fun. Bye. Bye.